Welcome to this video tutorial about the Dolibar ERP and CRM system. In this video, we will look at how to use the Sales Orders module in Dolibar. Prerequisites Activate the module Sales Order from menu Home, Setup, Modules. Note that you may be interested in enabling other modules that interact with the Sales Order module, such as the module's proposals, invoices, etc., even if these are not required. Grant permission on the Sales Orders module for your users. For more advanced information on how to set up permissions to users, you can watch our video Users, Groups and Permissions. Creating a Sales Order a sales order is usually created from a commercial proposal that has been accepted by a customer or from a contract. Navigate to the commercial proposal and click on the Create Order button, which is available only for commercial proposals that have been validated and accepted. In this case, the products or services defined in the proposal are copied into the sales order automatically. For more details on how to work with commercial proposals and quotes, Refer to the video about commercial proposals and quotes. When a sales order is created from a proposal, like any other object created from another one in Dolibar, the sales order and the commercial proposal remain linked with each other. You can switch at any time from the sales order to the proposal by using the links visible in the section Related Objects. You can also make some links manually with any other object by using the Link To menu and choosing the object type and object to which the link must be created. You can also create a sales order from scratch by clicking on New Order and entering all the details manually. Provide the customer reference, choose the third party for whom you are creating the sales order, Choose the plan date of delivery, payment terms, payment type, availability delay, shipping method, acquisition channel, project. Add any public or private notes. Click the Create button to create the sales order. You can now start adding the actual product or service and pricing information to your sales order. Add the service name or choose from one of your predefined services. Choose a tax lab if relevant, enter the net cost, quantity and any applicable discount. You can add multiple products or services to the sales order. Validating and sending the sales order. Once you're done, click on Validate to finalize the sales order. Now, the sales order is ready to be sent to your customer. Click on the Send Email button. You can now fill in the receiver details. All other details in the sales order are automatically included. Sales Orders Module Features You can use this list view to view the list of sales orders. The list is categorized based on the status of the sales order, such as draft, validated, in process, delivered and cancelled. The Contacts and Addresses tab can be used to define explicit contacts, either business entities or people, to the sale order, but this is optional. Use the Shipments tab to choose a source warehouse and send shipments to your customers. Use the Linked Files section to add any file attachments to the sales order. Use the Clone button to create a similar sales order with all the details pre-filled. You can create a contract, shipment or invoice from the sales order by clicking on the appropriate buttons. Contracts and invoices are covered in detail in the relevant video tutorials of these modules. You must decide, based on your own internal workflow, the order of events according to which you make the shipment from the order. You create and send the invoice and you set the order as delivered. 
Like most other Dolibar modules, the Dolibar process can be customized to work according to how your existing company process works. So you need not change your company process according to Dolibar. Note that the generated invoice can also be a recurring invoice. For example, for a sales order that needs monthly payments for one year, an invoice will be generated automatically each month, 12 times. More information on the invoicing process is covered in the videos about invoices and recurring invoices. Statistics gives a bird eye view of how the orders are being fulfilled. Use the filters such as company and customer to view detailed statistics. In any page of the application, for example on the main dashboard, when the reference of a sales order is mentioned, an orange flag alerts you when a sales order is delayed. You can set up an offset, the number of days before or after the expiration date, to decide when the visual late alert must be shown. There are also plenty of other features that can be enabled from the setup. For example, to generate an invoice automatically, an order validation or to set a sales order automatically to be paid status when an invoice is generated thanks to the workflow module. Also, like most Oliver modules, you can add your own custom fields to describe your sales orders, define default values or mandatory fields, and you can use the export module to export your database of sales orders. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. Visit www.dolibar.org to learn more.